not done a little bit of videoing for a while because there's not really been much updates. So, um, as you'll have seen if you're on follow me on Instagram, I found a few bits of rust on the DC2 which I can run through again. I've shown you in a previous video a little bit some bobs, bobs. The more you keep digging, the worse it gets. So that was a bit of a that's been a bit of a struggle. I've not got that finished. Hopefully, me and Vin are going to do some of that today when he gets his jobs done up at the garage because it is a Saturday. So should be a bit quieter in the afternoon so with a bit of luck I can, get, I can grab him for a few hours and we can get some welding done on that floor pan. Um, there's a few bits and bobs that I've bought. I've got hold of a K-tuned um, gear shifter piece because the original one's got a little plastic pivot ball in it and it wears out quite badly so it causes a lot of slop and you can one of the main selling points for that is they say that you can miss shift or whatever, but I think it looks nice and it just feel really good. So looking forward to getting that fitted and seeing if it feels as nice as it looks. I thought it might fit on the EP3 shifter, but it, the mechanism seems to work the other way around. The spring is 180 degree opposite to that, so I don't think it will work. So I, I took the ECU out, which is in the back here somewhere, the EP3, out of the EP3 engine. I was about to send it away to CPL to get a, their K-Pro V4 put in, but I managed to source a V2 um, that's come up for sale. I've negotiated the price with a guy and I'm going to go and collect that. Possibly tomorrow, probably Monday night after work because it's just the side of Peterborough, so it's when I'm at Newark, I'm halfway already there. So I might just go one night after work and pick that up. So I've got an ECU, so we'll use some fuel bits. Connect that up and then we can see if it runs and see how we get on a new one. Um, what else do I need to buy? Just look. So the main thing was welding the floor up. I did. When Rob came down from TI, he did say that uh, a guy that worked there was selling a DC2 shell that he didn't want. He decided to break his car and basically he just wanted pretty much scrap value for it. And then Rob sent me some pictures and I contemplated that. It was a UK one. I thought, well, I could put my front end on it, but... I had a few minutes with Vin and like we said, it, it's not, once you start cutting it apart and you start putting bits on, it's not really your car, is it? So, so I did contemplate about getting rid of the shelf of mine because it's quite rotten and there's a lot of welding and stuff to do and I've not looked at bits under the subframe at the back yet and the sill, well, there's a couple of spots in the sills, the arches won't do it. So there's a fair bit of time and quite a bit of money that one's put into it, so. It's one of the things you've got to weigh up, do you want to do it or do you just quit while you're ahead as they say and move on to something different but I decided I think we can get it welded up, we'll get it welded up to a stage at least where it's road legal so it can be used and then we can have some fun of it and then I can save up and put that towards the arches getting repaired and whatever and then hopefully we should have a fairly solid decent car that should last a while. Christine did say to me, starting under seal in his EG, he did say when you've done it, use your car for a bit and then so we'll get it back in winter and we'll strip it back down and we'll find out what else there is and then we'll just under seal the shit out of it and hopefully then we shouldn't have any further problems but that's just one of the problems with these 90s Japanese cars, they're made out of really shit thin tin metal and garbage, I mean you tap with a hammer and you from the underside, the trouble I had with the Integra is from the underside is it looked really good and then when you should peel back the underseal and start tapping with a hammer and then you poke it with a screwdriver you find a little hole and then of course you start digging and digging, get the white wheel on it and then a little hole turns into a big hole and then before you know it you're like, oh, shite, there's more holes, so we'll see how we get on with that. So I've done a fair bit of welding and stuff at work so I thought I'd just be able to crack on and cut the sheet and do it myself but the trouble is I don't, I've not done any rock repair before so I don't know how, past, how far past the rock you should go to cut it out. So it doesn't come back as another issue once obviously you've sealed it over. So I don't really want to go cutting unnecessary metal out of the car. There's nothing wrong with it because it'll look a, a bit of a fucking patchwork quilt sort of thing then, won't it? So I thought I'd wait until Vin. Vin's pretty good with it. So I said, well, I'll cut the metal out and stuff and then you can show me how to go on and we can do it. I did have a try because it's only like one mil th thick steel. I can blowing holes in the material so I was struggling with that but a lad from work actually gave me a big block of copper and he said if you put that underneath you can start welding it'll stop it from burning holes in it so we'll perhaps give that a whirl and see how that goes when we get welded together but yeah I'll catch up with you when we get there anyway alright yeah. good day.
Welcome to Will DC2 vlogging. Say hi, Will. Hello. This camp is going to fuck off. Here it is. There you go, sports fans. It's a shitter. I'm going to show you why. Let's have a look at door side number one, eh? Down, bow, bow. So there we have it. Bit of welding there. Not too shabby. Anyone who's a professional welder will say that's not half bad. And then we come to fucking this side. Jesus Christ, crack, it's a big one. Fuck. That's fucked. Jesus wept. Now let's go to the other side. Fuck. Jesus Christ. Call this man Danny DC2. It's fucked. Got a bit in the corner there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what's the plan, Will? Look at that bit, that's obviously all lacquered. Yeah. That bit's okay, so we'll cut across there. Oh yeah. Follow that, the raised edge there. Back across there, cut out the bum. Put a big plate over that. A little small one over there. I think the rest of it, that's okay. So we'll just clean it up and keep an eye on it. Get a, a white wheel there. On. Yeah, a little plate over that. Peel some of that back. Gareth did say about seaming across there, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, and I'll shape piece one for the corner over there. L shaped yeah, piece. Yeah. There Let's we go. In the corner and then up towards this way to cover that piece over there. Right. And there we go. So far, so good. Let's cross the arches. Jesus Christ. Christ. But other than that, he has Take bought. A a finally, after fucking half a year, yeah. bought himself a K Pro. So hopefully, pretty soon, yeah, get a tune out of the bastard. Fingers crossed, eh? But you never know. But, Crusty. he's done some of his wiring. <laughs> Case swab wiring, done his shit job. This ghetto labelling system, even yeah, though yeah, that came on it, yeah, okay, it's all in the instructions. <laughs> so we still decided to label it all. The only thing I've not done yet is the uh, fuel pump. I've done. I don't think I've done coolant temp. One temp. Yet. Yeah, I don't think I've done that. No, that's easy though. Straight for bulkhead. And there's a uh, the brake warning one, or something that you push through and then stick onto the top of the reservoir. I think. Do you need to do that or not? Not really. Unless you want the brake reservoir, I'll tell you it's low. But I'm pretty sure you'll check if I it's low or not. the light would be on if you don't, if it's not connected up there. No, nah. yeah. fuck it fuck that, fuck that noise. Oh, good, bro. Fuck that noise. Do something with that alarm. Oh, yeah. Flaming hell, mate. Look, it's a toad. Jesus Christ. It's a bloody toad in the back of the car. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't, that was not fitted very well. To be fair, you don't want to fucking steal it anyway. It's a pile of shit. <laughs> Here's to open. Oh yeah, then he's got a. Have you even got a K tune shifter yet? No, I've got a DC5 one, but I bought uh, a K tune shifter. Cable. No, mechanism piece on it. Get the fuck what? out of here. Oh, shore shifter. No, it's like for the side to side piece because the pivot ball and it wears out and you put the K tune one and it's nice and stiff and that's supposed to feel really good when you get the cables connected, but we'll see. Bloody hell. Sorted the heater out, slider, and then it's broke again. Oh yeah. Yeah, the cable, the wire keeps coming off. Oh yeah. They are. It's fucked. Yeah. Hundred percent fucked. Yeah, but you can just lift the bonnet up now, and you can just pull the. Oh cable yeah. Either way for hot or cold. So either way, you go hot or fucking cold, cold mate. That's the fucking way. That's how you do it, ghetto style. Fuck any of these heaters. Whoever needs a fucking heater is a fucking mug. Let's get rid of some of this shit metal. Oh yeah. And while he's fucking about with that. I'll give you a walk around of the car otherwise. Seems like we've not fucking bothered to vlog anything. So there we go. Beautiful walking wheels there. Bit of vault. Can't go wrong with that. And then the main one. Get in here. Look at that bad boy. K tune rail. Here to see if Mr. Whiston off. And uh are you doing an RBC? Hopefully, yeah. He doesn't know if he's gonna do one or not. He's a bitch. He's a little bitch. But everything else is pretty stock. But uh, 
it's looking good. Tell you where radiator cooling system. Bloody lovely. Fiberglass bonnet. Doesn't look like fucking much, but it did have a scoop in originally, but it's fucking nowhere to be seen now. But he's cracking on slowly, so it took him half a fucking year. Should have stayed the 18 c cunt. But other than that, he's looking pretty good. Let's go check out what he's doing. As long as when you pick a grinder, it doesn't work. For all you kiddies out there who are not quite sure what the fuck he's doing, he's using the grinder. Wear goggles at all time. Yeah, safety first, cunt. You know what they really do, don't you? Spanner. Get the brand new brand new grinder that's in that fucking box, mate. What? And oh. you'll have a grinder that fucking works, won't you? Hey, cunt. Look at this. When you work in the garage, you've got proper garage tools. A monkey could fucking work here. That's why I've got a job. So, guys, round two. Of the vlogging. Not vlog, you can't. Vlog. Not vlog. Jesus Christ, he's cutting bits out now. Crikey, mate. Bye, Felicia. Cut the corner off, you dickhead. Watch your eyes, mate. <laughs> Now, just a quick one, that's where your safety goggles aren't meant to fucking be. <laughs> but if you put a little math there, that's Donald Trump's alpha. <laughs> Cut that bit, you fucking idiot. Fucking wrong with you. You dickhead. You flaming spoon. The definition of should have been a blowjob. <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh, now, when you decide to cut it too far, that's the fucking way to do it. Look at the state of that. Jesus Christ, man. Fuck. And there we go. Freddie Flintstone vehicle, pod <laughs> one. Just got to go a bit further. <laughs> Freddie Flintstone. And then, <laughs> and then it'll go. Uh, and then, it'll, then it won't need any horsepower. I think he's got a key plate to unit. Just got, that is, just got Nasha for Cause Dennis all, the Menace's dog, hasn't it? Because all you'll need is those bad boys. Jesus Christ, look at those pearlers. Nagger, Jesus. He couldn't... He couldn't look at those. Fucking hell, straight in there. Look at that. Just got to go a bit further. On to the other side. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, he hasn't. What we're going to do, we're just going to cut the floor out that one, put in this one, yeah. But he's not. <laughs> so... We're going on to the other side now. <laughs> so, Will is attempting the second half. See how this going to go. Fucking hell. Let's go around the other side. Because we're in a bit of the way here. So, oh, just a quick one. If uh, anyone was curious to know, uh, Will likes men. 100%. Uh, an in house joke of Danny DC2, of Danny. Question mark. 2019 goal, get it running, and then he'll finish this. Probably not, I agree. So there you go. That man is on it. Fucking hell, mate. He just gave me a cookie then. Oh. Continue the vlog after he's cut the fucker. I don't want to lose my fucking eyes. So we'll come back in a minute. See you soon. Stay tuned, guys. Good. So, guys, round three. Let's see what he's done. If you like the hat, like and comment below. Subscribe, where the fuck ever. If you want a hat, they're four pounds off eBay. Fucking brilliant, mate. I ain't got any hair left, so I thought I'd make amends and uh, grow some ginger hair instead. Pretty cool, eh? I like it. So, Will, where we got to? <coughs> Fuck, you smoking here. Yeah. That's lovely. Fucking hell, a bit of metal in a man, then. Fuck. Look at that. Jesus Christ, that's beautiful. Cut the fucking little bit off. You jackass. Fucking pocky cunt. His also other name is known as Arthur. Arthur Job. <laughs> What the fuck have we done to that? 
flaming struths. Why is it so flashy? I have no idea. That's fucking weird, that. Do it again. Have you turned it down? It's got a speed setting on it. Was it? I think so. Uh, what the fuck is that light there? Is that extension lead, does it? You fucking must be. Finish, but. Is it the plug on the wall? Because it's like the plug's been hit. The plug? Except like. <clears throat> fucking things. Fucking like shit. Come on. What? <laughs> Use that one then, you dickhead. You damn That's fucking why it's not working properly. Jesus Christ. Hello, Gareth. That guy over there is Gareth. If, if not, if you actually remember Gareth, obviously this is the Stratton Garage infamous for Danny DCT's videos. This is the man that actually welded up Danny DCT's front end. So, Gareth's very uh, camera shy, doesn't want to be in the know. Anyway, so back to Will. All his big adventure. Oh, what the fuck, mate? What's going on here? Oh, well, I think different one. Use that big black one. That one's all right. That one's not bad. So there we go. Summer. Anyway, back to Will. Finally got power again for the third time. Now, if you have a quick, a little bit better look. Fucking taking his head off. It's fucking red off. Fuck. Here we go. Perfectly not square fucking rectangle. Don't quite know what Will thought was going to happen on that. Because he cut it the most fucking wonky position ever. And he's still got a load more to cut out. He's now getting the airline out and using the Dremel to Dremel it smooth in corners. For people who don't know, Will works with fiberglass, not welders. Yeah. Will's, Will's, Will's first attempt at welding didn't go down so well. That lovely bit of patch of weld there, which somebody else did, Will fucked up in the way that Will said he could weld and realised that he was cucking bacon in the car at the time. So, fuck knows why he was doing that, but, you know. What's the next cut out, Will? I don't think there's any more to cut out unless I find something else. Well, you got to drill all them holes, then, yeah. Patch over that, yeah. Drill oh, yeah. the hole, drill well, that one. What about that? that? And that one as well, yeah. That and little bit. Tidy up the edges there for when we cut the plate out. Oh, yeah. We're on it now. Fucking might be running by 2020. Fucking easy. Anyone interested in my engine, by the way? There's mine. Some shiny mounts. It was in the car, got took out, because I can't be fucking bothered anymore. Because I haven't got any fucking money. Which one do you want, the big one or the small one? Fourth draw, top box. So, stay tuned for more, guys. Alright, so I've cut all the rust out that was here. So, what I've done is made some plates to go over that. So, that should cover that quite nicely. I just want to tap in onto that edge, which will do. Get it tacked in place, that's good for that one. There's another one at the back over there, in that corner that you can see, and then that one I cut as pretty much a square to fill that big hole that was there, and there's another little one there just to the left of it, so we get these tacked in, and hopefully we can get them stitched up tonight, and then that's pretty much a rust job done, then I just need to tidy up the rest of the rust holes that are, well, not holes, the rest of the rust patches that are down there, and then, yeah. We're making good progress now. Two hours later. Alright, so that's that patch finished. It actually takes a lot longer to weld in one patch than you might think. That's actually taken me and Vin about a couple of hours to get it all sitting nicely and match what the original floor pan looked like. So yeah, that's come up really good. So we've got that, that side done, this side done. So just that little one for there to do one for the back and then there's a big one for the side that we'll have to um, attack another day. So yeah, there's not a lot of point doing some filming whilst we're welding because it does take quite a while and it's not very entertaining to see someone pulling a trigger so I thought we'd just crack on with it but I'll have a look at the footage that Fred got earlier on 
um, from when I was starting off and see what that looks like and see if we can make a bit of a vlog out of this. I'll try and show you before I go some bits that I've done to the engine as well if we get time. I'm just going to pack up now because it's quite late, it's about 25 past 10 now so it's about time me and Vin went home because we're the only two left here so top job from Vin for staying late on the Saturday to help me get some more bits done but we're getting there one patch at a time so Say bye Vin!